Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, had a uh, had a request here to do a quick video on a very specific Dickie Betts lick. I uh, had a subscriber named Proton Man was uh, said he had been uh, was was confused on this particular lick and uh, wanted some help with it. So I thought I'd uh, thought I'd oblige him and, and reach out and do that. So uh, this lick is from the track "You Don't Love Me" from Live at the Fillmore. Uh, it occurs at right about the 10 minute 48 second mark. Um, and it's Dickie Betts doing some really cool uh, riffing and chording, uh, kind of in that in that um, backbeat bluegrass kind of part of the of his uh, solo section. Let's take just a second and hear Dickie doing that right now. All right, so for you more advanced guys, I'm just going to play it, and you can see what it looks like, and uh, you can probably figure it out just visually and and go on about your day. Uh, this is what it looks like right here. And then for the, for the uh, you know, guys that need some more help, we'll, we'll break the lick down in a minute. And anybody who wants to hang around and hear what's going on technically can do that. But here's what it looks like right here. Ah, here we go. Uh, All right, it's it's actually a, a pretty incredibly simple uh, riff, but it man it sounds cool and Dickie really sells it. Uh, he's got some some pretty cool technique going on. So what's going on here? All right, everybody knows the old Mel Bay A chord, right? Just your cowboy A chord. Basically, what he's doing is he's playing out of that chord right there. So uh, let's spell that chord. You got an open A on the fifth string, right? And then on the D string, you're finding the five of that chord, which is E, right there. And then on the G string, you're finding an octave, which is another A, right there. And then on the B string, you're finding the, the major third, which is a C sharp, right there. All right, so what Dickie's doing is he's taking that chord, and he's thinking about it an octave up, and he's making a first inversion out of it. What's a first inversion? A first inversion is when you take the uh, root note of a chord, and you move it uh, from the bottom up to the top okay and so in this case you're taking the the a note moves up to the top right and the uh, c sharp becomes the lowest note in the chord right so you get that shape right there right so anyway um, you take that whole shape and you slide it up one octave right there so that's the chord shape that he's using right there to make that work and and the second part of it I mean that's what's going on melodically but rhythmically is where Dickie really sells this thing so uh, he's doing kind of this really cool almost mandolin derived bluegrassy Bill Monroe kind of strum thing it's almost like a Bill Monroe kind of thing and so slowed down that looks like this even slower right again again so he's thinking of that C sharp as kind of the root of that chord it's not it's not the root theoretically speaking but he's thinking of it as the kind of the uh, the home base of that chord right there and then he does this really cool slide um, down from that a chord and that that it's just trademark dicky the way it comes out so the, He's really digging in on those last two eighth notes. He's really digging in hard. All right, and that's that's what's going on there. It's not super complicated, but it's rhythmically it's going to take you some work to to work up to get it clean and precise like he does. You know, Dickie's coming from a, a Western swing and bluegrass background, so a lot of precision in in Dickie's world. Um, for sure. So that's what's going on with the, the chordal thing, and then you've got these these unison bends. Pretty pretty obvious what's going on there. So he's finding a D uh, here on the what is it uh, seventh fret G string, and then finding an E here on the uh, B string fifth fret, and he's bending that D 
up to a unison. All right, then you take the whole thing, move it up a whole step to F sharp. All right, and then one more half step to G. All right. And then the last part of it is a unison. Pretty simple little bend there. So your unison. And then, uh, let's see, let me think of this through. And then he's pre-bending this, um, this E bend right here, right? So he's got this D bent up to an E. So he's got it pre-bent, strikes it, and then releases it. And then you catch this um, C right here and pull it just a little bit sharp. Not all the way to a C sharp, but just enough to sort of, uh, you know, sort of uh, insinuate it, right? Pretty classic Dicky thing there. So that part looks like. Nah. All right. So the whole thing strung together uh, at a, like a medium tempo is. Pretty much it, guys. Uh, Proton Man, I hope that was helpful for you there, bud. Mm -hmm. That's uh, you, know, you got what you needed out of that thing. Um, you know, if you got any more questions, feel free to to hit them in the, the comments down there below, and, and we'll we'll get to them. Um, Y'all got any other requests or special requests? Um, you know, kind of in that uh, classic rock, Almond Brothers, um, blues, classic country vein, man, feel free to just kick them out there in the comments and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we'll get to them. We'll get to them and um, mm -hmm. keep spreading the, spreading the love through guitar. That's mm -hmm. uh, what we're trying to do here. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this. Just a real quick lesson on that one riff. Um, but um, hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, like and subscribe. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Y'all be good.